This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make it with Squarespace. Do you ever find yourself scrolling and scrolling and scrolling until eventually you start to feel really bad about yourself? Or maybe your anxiety starts to kick in. Well, it's no wonder the studies are showing that screen time is causing both anxiety and depression in children as young as two years old. So what do we do? Well, a lot of videos here on YouTube will tell you to do a digital detox, to step away from social media and learn to love life outside of it. And the reality is we need to be connected in some way. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how I decluttered my social media, how I made social media a place where I love to hang out and how you can do the same on your platforms. When I first started The Girl Gone Green, I used to love checking my Instagram. When I got home from school or work, it was like the highlight of my day to interact and read the comments and see what was going on. And I just loved it. It fueled me up. But a few years into it, I lost that spark. I no longer wanted to touch my phone. I no longer felt those great emotions from the application. It didn't feel creative or wanting to take beautiful pictures, but instead it felt like a chore. It was because something had changed in my feed. I wasn't following the right people. I wasn't following the people that added value to my life. It's funny because this channel revolves around focusing on what sparks joy, like Marie Kondo says, and what really adds value to your life and what you enjoy and things like that. So why can't we apply these same principles that we apply to normal minimalism, but bring them into the digital sphere? Today, I want to share with you how to declutter your following. Let's do this. The first one is to unfollow anyone who does not add value to your life. I'm talking those Instagram models where their captions are sunny days or punny things that are just not really that creative and you know they got it from the internet. Really, you should be following people that fuel you up in whatever industry you are in. People who write captions that are meaningful to you or their pictures make you feel good or inspire you or are artistic. Don't follow people who are just posting half naked bodies online with like cheap captions. Unfollow anyone who does not spark joy in your life. Is there that Debbie Downer that like is constantly posting about like dead animals and being all mean and rude? Just unfollow them. Unfollow the people you feel obligated to follow. You know, your second cousin or that person you met at camp once that like you're still kind of friends with, but like not really. Or a fellow influencer that is in your field and you felt like you kind of have to follow them. Fun fact, you really don't have to follow anyone. For me, I realized it was actually fashion bloggers, sustainable fashion bloggers. So I've followed a lot of people who talked about sustainable fashion brands and beautiful things, but at the end of the day, it made me feel like my wardrobe was not cute enough or stylish enough. And if you notice, I literally am wearing the same jacket in my last like four thumbnails. So I wasn't feeling great while following them. While it kind of aligned with sustainability and they were really amazing people, there was nothing wrong with these influencers. At the end of the day, following them made me feel bad. Unfollow brands. Now I know what you're saying, but sometimes they post really good sales and I wanna be the first one to know when the sale is, yeah, no. You end up spending more money if you follow a brand than if you don't follow a brand. It's the truth because when that sale pops up, you're going to say, oh my God, I totally need all these things when really you didn't need those things at all. So unfollow to avoid any temptations. You don't have to follow people on all platforms. This was a big one for me to understand because there are some YouTubers on here that I absolutely love. People in personal development like Lavendaire or pe vegans that post amazing food recipes. But at the end of the day, they weren't providing me the value that I wanted from their Instagram page. It ended up being them with a bunch of cool celebrities or pretty pictures of their vacation, but it wasn't the same content that they had on YouTube. So I unfollowed them. I still follow them on their original platforms or their blog posts or their Facebook pages, but I don't need to follow them on all their platforms. And lastly, unfollow people who aren't active. While it might be nice to get that once a year surprise from that person, 
The reality is you don't need to follow people if they're not constantly going to post. So I'll leave you with that. Let me know how your Instagram declutter goes. It took me almost three months to go from following almost a thousand people to following 200. It took a lot of time, but every time I opened the app, I would ask these questions to myself. Is that person adding value? Does this spark joy? Is this a boring content? Do they just post about their cool lives and not about real things? And eventually I got to the point where I felt pretty confident with my feed. It doesn't mean that I don't love the people I was following before. In fact, I really admire some of them as creators, but they weren't adding to my feed at the current moment. Doesn't mean I won't follow them in the future, but as of right now, I'm pretty happy where I am with my feed. Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. If you're looking for a website, online store, or need a place to find a domain, you can definitely check out Squarespace. They've been sponsoring a few of my videos if you haven't been able to tell, and I'm really grateful for their support and green content. I've been using Squarespace. I currently use Squarespace for a few different projects, and I'm a big fan of Squarespace because they have templates, because you don't have to reinvent the wheel, because it's right there and simple, and you can provide value for people without literally trying. It's easy, you can add your own photos, and there you go, voila. Squarespace has amazing 24 seven customer service. They have features where you can put up your online store and everything is there. So if you're interested in selling something or creating something, this is the platform for you. So whatever it is you're trying to put on the internet right now, I highly recommend using Squarespace. You can use squarespace.com slash gone green to get 10% off your first purchase of website or domain. I hope you liked this digital minimalism video. For now, don't forget to live sustainably and consciously, and I will see you in my next video.